recently I've been uh, feeling a little down lately. So I made a little uh, prayer. I said a little prayer to the sample gods. See if they couldn't pick me up. And my prayers are answered. I'll show you. Some of this stuff is pretty significant. Kind of like, what do you call it, a unicorn? Joe Anthony um, from New York, my brother from Long Island. Hit him up. Okay, send him a mes message on his channel, all right? And our unaverage Joe, you know who he is, Joe Anthony. If you have any questions or want to ask about MFK or um, obvious diptyque. And where is that diptyque in here? Okay, I have yet to wear this, but excited to. Took a sniff, um, aquatic, you know, but MFK is quality, so it's not your, uh, your, uh, Average blue or ocean scent there. What's that blue one I'm thinking of? Uh, and here's Le Papier. I mean, Le Papier. Uh, and I've worn this like twice. I really like it. Really like it. Can you see that? And he just saw a comment of mine and then he sent it to me. I didn't even know. It was real nice of him. A little papier. Like papier mache. I like it. The gods sent me this. I've known this for as long as I've been in the community. Eight years, seven years. Um, fat electrician. I think I took a whiff of this. Kind of like a heated wood is that is this the one that smells like heated wood right check this out check this out there are, i've smelled this in in uh, department stores but um I never wore it or uh sprayed it seriously like on my hand and stuff like that. So that's Chanel. Look at that. Actually, I took a, took a spray of this. I'd reach for this today. All right. This is Herbert Rouge Sport. Before and wear it before the the real Abbott Rouge, because it's, it's kind of old and dated, even though it's a classic, right? Mm -hmm. Check it out. I've been uh, wanting to smell this for three, four years now. And I have, I uh, talked about this on my last walk and talk my uh, my kind of bothersome uh, rant if you want to hear a little bit about that and that's uh, from Serge Lutin and um, comparing this to my beloved Mitsa of course so this is special to me so, really put a smile on my face. What do we have here? Look at that classic. Vintage. Bellamy Bedver. It's another one that I uh, didn't wait. And uh, See, I love the kind of the smoke in Terre Parfum. That flint note. It's almost, it's even better in here. It's a dark freshness, right? I don't know exactly what's in here besides the vetiver, but it's a dark, 
uh, of vetiver. Kind of flinty, kind of smoky, kind of like, you know, a, a cap gun has just gone off. So, uh, it's classic. I've uh, just sniffed most of the Celine line for the first time because at our big mall, at the Ala Moana, the world famous Ala Moana Mall, they have a Celine store. I'm like, oh, a Celine store, but it's not going to have the fragrances. So I keep on walking, and there was the right in front to the left a little, the perfume bar, the entire line, the entire line. And I smelled most of them. Nightclub making was good. I've only smelled black tie in the past uh, because Rudy was kind enough to give it to me. And I uh, don't have too much to say about that. I don't really like it. The night clubbing was nice, but I went through most all of them, including Reptile and California IA and uh, all. And the, most all of them were really nice. The ones that grabbed me and the guy was putting samples in my, uh, in my hands on the way out. I first I said, oh, it's okay. I just, I'm, I'm glad I, I smelled them. You know, and really individual, right? I don't have to write them down. And I like Rimbo. He got me uh, a sample of this. And I I mostly liked Don Perry. What does this say? I, my eyesight is in one eye is kind of going. So kind of a quirky play on uh, vanilla is this Don Perry. I, I haven't heard too much about it, but you know me, I like, uh, I like my vanilla. And uh, it was really a pleasant surprise to see the Celine perfumes for the first time. So, and that uh, Dance Paris dry down reminds me of Angie Noir. Kind of a, another quirky vanilla. A vanilla floral from Girl on. So I really like that. What we have here is the other Celine. Yep, here's the Don Paris. Wish I had two of these and I have two Rimbos. Mm -hmm. As they said in Caddyshack, it's my Ma Liberté award a couple times. Thank you, perfume gods. Or I mean, uh, sample gods. That one's a good one. HTP. What's this one called? Marquis de Sade, right? I took a little spray of this. It's nice. Was it smell dry and not too sweet? I didn't wear it yet, so. But I've heard of this one forever. And uh, I finally get to smell it. Oh, looky here. Thank you, Decant God. We'll compare this one too. Oh, yeah. I mean, blindfolded, I can say that's Ego East, right? Balsamic Woody. Little cinnamon. Rose. But... I haven't compared them yet, and I will, but it does smell a little different, a little more, a little more outrageous. This is the only Lupin Dandy I have left. If I want this bottle, it's going to be hard to find, we'll say, in the future. Because I don't know about the future, and I'll tell you why my perfume journey might be coming to an end. Not because I'm going to stop talking to you guys or stop wearing it. I'm going to wear my loves. But I'll talk about the last one because uh, I finally got my nose on it. So this is uh, Lezen de Badabla. I, I hear this one's pretty damn good. Thank you, Mr. Samples.
resistance. The creme de la creme, the blue ribbon, the premium deluxe. Extra good, double plus good. Dior Homme 2005 original silver stem. And don't think I didn't smell this one right away. This thing's amazing. And I am not a big DH fan. I'm a big DHI fan and a big DHP fan. But 211 Dior Homme is kind of too naked with the iris and too headache for me. I, I, I like that it's masculine. This is masculine to me, but it's more floral. It's fantastic. I think it's less spicy and less woody. And um, it's more beautiful. It is. I haven't worn it yet. But I'm uh, prejudiced already because I'm a such a Olivier Polge fan. Right? Olivier Polge of Chanel. And he just comes over 2005 and says, yeah, I'll do this. He just does it. With a little blindfolded, he can do things, in my opinion, right? Blindfolded, he doesn't want to show off. He's like, what do you want? What do you need? Okay, that's enough. I'll do it for you. And um, I, I guess, I mean, if I ever find a bottle of this, it would be a cherry on top. But just to smell it, I'm grateful enough, okay? And once again, I'll kind of put that story up hypothesis uh well it's a little i'm um, not hypothesis it's a little hyperbole but i almost was going to get this at a live stream at a from eugene's stream from uh le parfum in quebec and before i can even put it in my basket i think there were like two or three of them the guy from the west midlands in 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 england uh the the flightless bird he snatched up all the bottles of the silver stem before you could say, you can say Davy Crockett. And they were gone. And poof, they were gone. So, even though he's my best friend, I always hold that, I always hold that him to task on that. He took him, he took him out right out of my basket. And it was faster than you could just say, mm, it was gone but now I know and uh, his description of this is right on I agree with it this is beautiful this is a, a 10 out of 10 and it's better than DHP it's better than I haven't worn it but I'm, I'm, I'm gonna say it smells better than DH 2011 which is great okay and I'm going to find out if I like it better than DHI 2011, which is like a, a, a 10 out of 10 or a 9 out of 10 for me. So, there they come. There they come to steal us away from me. So, that's why it's almost, uh, it's almost at an end. Because just smelling this and wearing it maybe a couple times good enough for me and I'll wear the ones I love that I have more juice than anyone could have and just uh, enjoy my journey down the rest of the, uh, the road so yeah this is this is the cherry on top right here so anyway what would be your equivalent right to just have you sit back and go ha ah, I'm satisfied now I have a sample of that, or I have a bottle of that, or I finally just sniffed it, right? Can't ask for everything all the time. Uh, let me know in the comments what, what would be your satisfaction. So, before they knock on the door downstairs to take this away and say it's illegal, because it's original and it's real, I'm going to say good night to everyone, and thank you for enduring uh, my gift 
from the sample the samples gods that gave me a little pick me up. I appreciate it. Talk to me later. Bye bye.